Um, I, I, I spoke you out when, when, when you, had, you had stepped away for a minute at the time. But the, the Gemara tells us that if had not of an Aviyu had children, had not of an Aviyu had children, then, it wouldn't, then they, wouldn't have, they wouldn't have died. So if you look around, the, there's so many different shotim of why not of an Aviyu died. One of them was is because they reached the highest Madriaga someone could possibly reach. So they've, they've done whatever they could. Well, according to that shot, <coughs> had they had children, then they would have had reason to stay on this earth because they have to be mechanic for children. So it could be that shot in the Gemara. But then I shared with the oil the epic shot in Nodav and Aviv, and that is the Torah said so many times, Kashat Shiva Hashem as Moshe, to do everything perfect. And if you follow all the different shot and you hold that Elo Veil, Dirla Kim Chaim, Nodav and Aviv did everything wrong because there's so many different cheaters of what they did wrong. So how are you talking? So in, in the epic shot brought down in, in simply shot, he suggests that the Mechaber suggests that that could be they were Badafka trying to exhibit what happens if you don't follow exactly the words of the Rabbani Shalom to be Mechaber on what Aaron Akoyan did by making the eagle. I hope I'm doing justice to the shot. But you could argue you can argue that they, so they literally sacrificed themselves. They literally sacrificed themselves to save Aaron, which would explain why Moshe told Aaron after they died is that they're greater than we are. But could be had they had children, they wouldn't have died because they wouldn't have sacrificed themselves because they knew they have to be around to raise their children. So it could be like them to chat in the Gemara goes, you know, you can sacrifice yourself if you don't have children who are, who are going to need you. But if you have children who are going to need you, then you're not going to sacrifice yourself. It could be that's Pshat in our Gemara. I'm getting a nod, so so the vice versa can't be too far off. You're 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 muted. You're muted. I said shkayach for the plug and close enough. <laughs> okay. Okay. So look the Gemara. Amr Abami. Avram was already tumtum hayu. There were tumtum and Shenemar. It says in the pasuk in Yeshaya, "Bitu al tzur choytzavtem." Look at the rock that was carved out, referring to the fact that the Rebbeinu Shloim had to. Um, literally chisel out a new aver uh, for Avram. Vel Makev is born a kartam and, that, and the Rebbeinu had to chisel out like a, a hole, a bore in a rock connected in Nakvos or Sora. Uchsivin, right away after that, it says in the Pasuk, Kebitu el Avram avichem vel Sora v'chalal. Amar Ab Nachman, Amar Ab Avram. Sora imenu aylunus hoysa. Sora imenu was an aylunus. Shenemar, it says that he Sora yakara, and then it sticks in three extra words. Ain lov lad. Why, why are these three words required? Zok to we learn from here. Afilu base vlad ain lov. She didn't even have a mokum vlad. She didn't have a uterus. She was an islandess. Amr av Yehuda bared Rav Shmuel bar Shilas mishmei the Rav. Loi shanu. This that you wait ten years is ela b'doris harishonim sheshnei shnei rubais. If you live to a thousand years, ten <coughs> hundred years, you can afford to wait ten years. Av b'doris harachronim. But nowadays, where life is much shorter than the Gvura Shmanim Shono, right? So then we don't have 10 years to waste. Shtei Shonim Umechza, 30 months, two and a half years is the amount that one has to wait, and then one has to divorce his wife. Where do you get where do you get this calculation of 30 months? Three pregnancies. A pregnancy is nine months. That's nine times three is 27. And each pregnancy we're giving an extra month to. Or the may tum of a or maybe for her to be able to get pregnant. So therefore, three times nine is twenty-seven plus three months, one per pregnancy is a total of thirty months, and then one must divorce his wife. Rabbi Amr Rab Nachman. Um, uh, I'm not sure, but the Gemara anyway doesn't doesn't follow this halacha. Um, why three pregnancies? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where where that comes from. Not through the tent, that could be too long. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So I, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know the, the reasoning behind it. Why? Why three pregnancies? Domar Mar, or I'm sorry, Rabbi Omar Rabbi Nachman said Shalai Shonim, three years. Why? Because you need to pass three Rosh Hashanahs. What's the significance of Rosh Hashanah? Connected Shalish Bikido is connected to three Nisan that Akadish Prohu gave children to three very famous women. Domar Mar, Rosh Hashanah Nifka do Sarah, Rachel Vachana. 
three women who otherwise it would have been impossible for them to have children, the Rabbani Shalom had Rechmanus in them on Rosh Hashanah. So therefore you have to pass through three Rosh Hashanahs in order to say that there's no hope. Omar Rabbah. Rabbah said, less than the I don't agree to any of these rules. It's Tafka 10 years. <clears throat> so that's why, so, um, so Rabbah says, let's, let's disregard all of the other shitas, it's 10 years. How do I know that? Because you're telling me that since now we don't live as long, we don't have so much time to wait. Michli, Masnison. Sure. You're allowed to divorce your wife at any time for any reason. No, there are more Paskins. There are more Paskins that we don't force people to divorce anymore. I, I don't remember the reason. I think Hansi asked why yesterday. Um, it, but there are more Paskins. Although the Mohabar says we do divorce, the Ramah says we don't. We don't do it anymore nowadays. And when, when, when the Ramah said nowadays, it was a couple of hundred years ago. Mirti, Zakta Gemara. Man, man, token. Who made this takon of 10 years? It's our Mishnah, Rebbe. Well, we made David image him, Shni. And long before Rebbe, our lifespans had already been reduced dramatically. So our, our lives had already been diminished, yet Rebbe still said 10 years. So Vaish Dechois will disagree with what we learned earlier that nowadays, where our lifespans are shorter, the waiting time is shorter. In fact, we know for a fact that Rebbe said 10 years, even though the lifespans were shorter. How does that mean it has to be explained? Because the Gemara knows that the Mishnah is different. Yeah. How does it have to be explained? Uh, and, and he says, Beferish, nowadays that people live shorter. Unless he meant nowadays that people don't live a thousand years, they only live 500 years. Well, it's the Mishnah. What do you mean? It's the Mishnah? Mishnah said <laughs> so clearly, Rebbe says even nowadays it's 10 years. Yeah, I hear. <coughs> Very good. Do what are. Zok to more vital. The high. Shema lezocha libanes hemena. The Gemara told us on Amar Aleph. If we go back to Amar Aleph, the Gemara tells us that even though he has to divorce his wife, he has to pay your ksuba. He can't say I'm not paying ksuba because you're not you're not producing children. Rather, the Mishnah says. Yoitzi v'yit in ksuba. I'm focused on the brisa that's right after the mishnah. Why? It's not necessarily something that she was inadequate. Maybe, maybe the the mazel was that they shouldn't have children together. But it's not something that she was lacking on, so to speak. Therefore, you're mechuyev to pay the ksuba when you divorce this wife after ten years. Correct the gemara. Hamotzi mechaver al haraya. V'dilmi i the loizachia. Maybe it, she wasn't zoicha to children. So if she wasn't zoicha to children, so then he should he should be able to divorce her and not give her ksuba. <coughs> a woman, since she's not mitzuba on peri of arivia, loy ma'ancha. For a woman not having children, Dr. Gemara, is not an oinish. For a man not having children is an oinish. So therefore, you can't say that she, that it's her fault that she's not having children, because there's nothing that there's nothing that it's not it's not a punishment for her. It's only a punishment for you. So it must be that if you're not doing the children, it's because the man's being punished, and therefore we assume by default that it's not his fault. Now you might ask, is that the only reason why it's a punishment? Because it's a mitzvah pruru. Doesn't the woman want children? Stamazoi? So the Gemara brings that in a little bit later. The Gemara discusses that. But at this point in the Gemara, the Gemara has a half minute, it's unbelievable. Why would a person want to have children? Nothing to do with the selfishness, only because it's a mitzvah on the Rabbani So it's not a mitzvah on the Rabbani Shalom that it's not considered an oinish uh, for a woman not to have children. Any frank Gemara, is that true? Well, Amr le Rabbani le Rabbaba bar Zabda. The Rabbani told Rabbaba bar Zabda, Nesivitza, Bayud Bni, get married so that you can have children. Well, Amr le and he said, apparently he must have been married once and they wanted him to remarry and have more children. And he said, Izakoi, if I would have been Zoicha to children, Havali Mekamaisa. I would have had I would have had children from my first wife. <clears throat> I would have had from my first wife. So, to, so you have a raya from here. So you have a raya from here that that um, you see he could be toiling his wife because they told him they told him uh, he should have he should have from his first wife. So that's not a raya because his whole taina wasn't a taina. 
He was just pushing them off. He knew that he couldn't have children. And I don't know this why. He knew that he'll never be able to have children because of something that we're familiar with because of the long shear. He's a sitting shear by Rafuna. And Rafuna was in such a long shear and he would have to go to the bathroom. He would hold himself in and he became childless because of that. We had that earlier. Now I know why someone set an alarm clock that the, 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 this, this clock here rings at seven o'clock because if you go over it, it could be very, very dangerous. Rab Gidl, he accurately picked Rab Huna. Rab Gidl also was in that shear and he also became childless because Rab Huna went over time. And Rab Chelboy also, he accurately picked Rab Huna. Rab Sheshis, he accurately picked Rab Huna. Rab Sheshis, we had earlier. Rab Achabay Yaakov, what happened to Rab Achabay Yaakov was he was sitting in shear and Achtaday Sus Chinto, he chapped a certain disease because he was holding it in too long. And Rashi, the disease is Pirish, not Rashi, the guy at the side over here, the, 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 not the guy at the side, at the side, says Pirish, his, 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 his body took on the colors of a rainbow. I don't know what that says about him. Uh, today might be a badge of honor, but he realized he has ma massive problems. So what, what did he do to correct this problem? Imagine, it's hard to imagine how things worked in those days. To Luluya Ba'arjah, the Bey Rav, they hung him off the pillar of the Bismuth. So that was a big, huge building. So they hung him off a pillar. They hung him off a pillar, suspended him in the air off a pillar. And then it gets worse. And then Venovic Mine Kahutsayaka. And then he urinated and it came out of him like a green, green uh, uh, stream of fluid. And then he got better. I, I don't understand how this works and how this would fit into a medical journal. But this, this is what happened. You know, he was at the verge of suffering like the other Talmudim, and he saved it just in the nick of time. Omar of Acha by Yaakov. Sheetan Sabe Havina. There were 60 Talmudim. There were 60 of us who were Talmudim of Rafuna, the Hulu i Akar Mepirk de Rafuna. And we all became Akaris from, from, from the Shiurim of Rafuna. Levar Meano, except for me, I was able to save myself. The Kami bin Abshoi, because I was Makaim upon myself. In other words, I sat by the back, so I was able to sneak out without embarrassing myself in sheer and get out before it would be too dangerous. So they all asked, how is it possible that they would allow themselves to become a Karish? You're not allowed to, you're not allowed to be misarish yourself. How is it possible? So the Mephoshim explained, I thought they didn't do this on purpose. They were also so engrossed in the sheer, they themselves didn't realize. And Mimela, they became sick because of it. But about that, they didn't do it on purpose. But he said he made sure, he made sure not to get too engrossed. Uh, I, I, I don't know, I never happened to be. Rafuna happened to be probably also got engrossed. He probably didn't realize either. I could see a lawsuit coming out, you know, before the status of limitations. But, uh, but it's, a, it's a marvel all right, it's come 60 Talmudim were so engrossed in the shear that they forgot to go to the washroom and because of that, they win the stars. It's Marvel all around. Okay. Yeah, it's a tough little fella. Okay, let's see the Gemara Vaiti. <coughs> basically, basically, if you stay in here too long, then you're in trouble. Then you're in trouble. <laughs> so, so it could be he was a Talmud of Rafuna. So let's see the Gemara Vaiti. Girsha Muteris. If he gave her a gift, then she's allowed to marry another person. Zok to Gemara, why could she marry another person? Because maybe it just wasn't for shirt between them. But La Davka, that she's childless, she can have a child with her second husband. Zok to Gemara, Shani in Shlishiloi. It seems that the mission is only allowing her to marry one more time, but after she marries a second time and doesn't have children, we look at her as a Huxak. She's Huxak not to be able to have children. But we will not let her marry a third person. Zok to Gemara, you know there's a famous Machloikis. Do two make a chazaka, or does three make a chazaka? So Zok the Gemara must listen. Mani Rebbe, it seems like our mission is consistent with Rebbe, who holds that two make a chazaka. The Tanya we learned, Mala Harishon, if someone was mal their first child, Umeis, and the child died, Shemi Umeis, Shlishi Leitamo, one should not do Mila on the third child, because two already created a chazaka that this child will die. Dear very Rebbe, from Shimon Ben Gamliel, I'm here, Shlishi Tamo. The third person, the third child, you do make a meal on, because there's no chazaka yet. It's revealed at Loi Tamu. It's only the fourth child that you shouldn't do a meal to because it takes three to make a chazaka. <coughs> but Tanya Fek Gemara, 
Ibcha, we had a Bryce that said exactly the opposite, that it's a Rebbe who said three times make a Chazaka, and Yab Shimon ben Gamliel says it's two times. What we're going to need to find out is which one of these two contradictory Bryce's was said later, because chances are the one that was said later is the final shot. You know, it could be Rebbe and, and Yab Shimon Gamliel had changed opinions in their discussion. When they were arguing, Rebbe heard Rabbi Shimon Gamliel and liked the Svar so much that he took Rabbi Shimon Gamliel's position and vice versa for Rabbi Shimon Gamliel. So we need to know what the final maskon is to know who said what. So Toshma, let's see if we can bring a riot. There are four sisters in Tzipuri. So until now, we're talking about one mother doing a Mila on multiple children. Now we're speaking about multiple sisters that are doing Mila on their one child. So Barbach is with Sipuri, Shamolari Shaino Umes. The first sister made a brisk, which tragically ended in Misa. Shne Umes, Shalishish Umes, Revius, but a fourth one, Bos Lufne Rab Shimon Ben Gamriel. She came to Rab Shimon Gamriel. Amr Allah, he told the fourth sister, Altamuli, don't, don't, don't mala your child. So there's still a Chazaka. Now it's going to be very interesting to note that this is all because of the condition that the blood doesn't clot. That's why that's what death. There's a word for it. I forgot the name of that condition. So the article brings down medical Hemoph journal Hemophilia. Hemophilia. Hemophilia is the disease. Hemophilia is the person inflicted with the disease. So the article brings down, interesting enough, that science shows that it's hereditary and it's carried by the mother. It's carried by the mother. So it stems very good, this Gemara. Not that we need science to prove the Gemara, but we can use the Gemara to prove science. The science teams, that's right. So look to Gemara. So, but the fourth one, Omla al -Tamubi. So you see clearly that it's Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel who says that three is the Chazaka, which means that our original bride that we quoted is going to be the accurate one. And how do we know that this is the accurate one? Because it's Rabbi Yochanan quoting. Rabbi Yochanan was at way after, was, was lived much later than these Tanoim, and Rabbi Yochanan is going to quote most likely the last version of the Machlaikas. So since Rabbi Yechonin said the story over with Rabbi Shimon Gamliel, we can assume that that's Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel's psaq. Frankly, you don't have a right from this psaq that Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel holds that three is a chazaka, not two, because she only came after the third child. Right? The dilmya i asya shlishish nami have omer law. Right? Maybe if the third sister would have come before the bris, right? The Rav says, now you call me? You should have called me before you made the bris. Right? So you don't have a raya. Frankly, no, you do have a raya. Because of Cain, Maya Saduse, you're Abhi Baraba. The Abhi Baraba said over this big story. Why is it an Aegis? It must be that he knew that that was the Psak. Zakti Gemara, no. Vidil Mahakamash Malon, the Choyos Mechaskos. Maybe the right that Abhi Baraba wants to show from this story, that when it comes to hemophilia, it's, it's carried by the mother, and you could make a Chazaka by the mother. I think Dubi alluded to that. Amarava, so let's, let's go weiter. Hash to the Amrit, Achoyos Mechaskos. Now that we know that you look at hereditary issues, and even though one sister had a child with hemophilia, you assume the other one as well, well, then this might be relevant to other conditions as well, not just hemophilia. Therefore, Layisa Adam Isha, a person shouldn't marry a woman, not from a family of people who are sick, and not from families where there's tzeras, what? Epileptic? Rashi says choylon, but I guess it means epilepsy. Okay. Uh, and what does he say for mitzaras? Oh, not this. <laughs> okay. Zaktamar, how does chazik closes him? That's if three sisters um, had it, don't marry the fourth sister. My havi Allah. So, Lamaisa. What what was the maskana? Did we have a maskana of, of who said what? So Dr. Mark, he also Rabbi Yitzhak by Yosef. When Rabbi Yitzhak by Yosef came, Omar he said, "Uv the hava kamed Rabbi Yochanan the chenishna the moin you make a borbish cholos b'shabes." So once again, Rabbi Yochanan is considered an authority because he would have said over the latest version of what Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel said. We know Rabbi Yochanan um, holds like Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel. Uh, that's what he seems to say because he's quoted Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel. And this story happened in front of Rabbi Yochanan in a, 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 a day of Yom Kippur that fell out on Shabbos. Umala Rishayna Umais. I guess that there was a whole bunch of children, Tamal, um, 
a whole bunch of sisters to mal their children. They guess they all had a baby on the same day. And the eighth day was this Shabbos that was also in Kippur. So the first one mal and died. Shneo base. Shalishish ball upon up. So this time, the, this time they asked by the third already, they asked, Omer Law and Rabbi Yochanan Paskin Lechi Umuli, go do the bris. So you see, Klor, that Rabbi Yochanan in Rabbi Shimon Gamliel holds that, that the Chazaka only happens after three times, and therefore he instructed them to mala the third child. Omer Le Abaye, so Abaye asked on this, Hayitachid, Chazi de Kesharis Isur Vesakanta, you're being matter an Isur. Because if there's no chiyuv to do a bris on this child, because this child is not supposed to have a bris, when doing it on Shabbos and on Yom Kippur is an iser, and it's a sakana because you're putting this children's life in danger. So Abai is trying to show you. He's trying to highlight that Rabbi Yechonu was paskening like Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel, even b'makayim where we're dealing with life and death issues and chamer duke So, so when Abai pointed that out, he didn't point it out to disagree with it. He pointed it out to learn from it. Samachalo Abaye, Abaye relied on this psaq that even for life and death issues, you, you don't have a chazaka until three times. But Azal ben Nasva, he went and married a girl by the name of Lechuma, and she was Barta, the Isi Barei de Beravitzak. She was the daughter of Isi Barei de Beravitzak, Barei of Yehuda. It even gives her Yichos, because I guess we're talking about hereditary things. The Nasva, Rachba, the Pumadisa, Vishachit. Her first husband was Rachva from Pumadisa who died. And then her second husband was a Yitzchak Barei de Rabba Barachana Vishachit. So she had already married two men and both of them died. And Abaya said, I passed me, like Rabbi Yochan said that until the third time, I have nothing to worry about. So when Nasra who? Abaya married her. And guess what happened? Vishachit. And he died too. So Amar Rava. So Rava said, Umi Ika, the Abid of the Benafshei. Would someone do such an experiment on his own life like what Abaye just did? Rashi says, Abaye is playing with life and death. Would he have so much confidence to, to play with his own life, to play with fire by following Rabbi Yochanan's psak that he set over from Abshim ben Amliel? It doesn't make sense that he would do that. You know what? Abaye himself said, Avin the Samcha, Avin, if Avin said something over, you would trust it. If Avin said something over from a Yechanan, you would trust it. Yitzchak Sumka, but Yitzchak Sumka, who is who we quoted from, it was Rabbi Yitzchak, um, it was Rabbi Yitzchak who said this over. Like he also Rabbi Yitzchak by Yosef, it was Rabbi Yitzchak by Yosef who said the story over. Yitzchak Sumcha loved our Samcha. You can't rely on him. Avin Yeshnoi Bechazara, Yitzchak Sumcha ain't Bechazara. There's two pshatim that Rashi has in this. Either Avin Yeshna Bechazar, he would chazer over and over so he had clarity, and that's how you could rely on him. But Yitzhak Simcha didn't chazer so much, so he didn't have the same clarity. Or Avin was always, he was on the uh, WhatsApp feed. So anytime there would be a change in Allah, or someone would be chazer, Rabbi Avin would have been informed. But Yitzhak Simcha didn't have WhatsApp, so therefore he didn't get the latest version of the information. So therefore you can't rely on him because maybe Someone changed their shita, and Rabbi Yitzchak would not have been aware of it. So the problem here is, is how is Abai Yisoymech to put his life in danger on a version of Rabbi Yitzchak said over by Rabbi Yitzchak when he himself said that Rabbi Yitzchak's reports on Rabbi Yitzchak and Salacha isn't 100% accurate. But oi, Eimer, the pligilin in Mila, maybe there's a machalik of in Mila, maybe by Mila, did Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel say that it's not a chazaka until the third time. But Vinisuan Mipligi, but who said they're arguing by Nisuan? Maybe there's a place to say that there's a difference. Abaya applied a halacha by Mila to his marriage. Maybe you shouldn't make such a comparison. We'll see. We'll see. Gemara goes through that. I'm sorry? You mean like somebody wanted to marry a convict in prison? <laughs> she also ended up dying. So that's more in. In fact, they, do you do see a raya? That they argue by by my marriage as well. So Vatanya we learned, Nisus Larisha Numes, she married the first person that he died. Lishen Numes, Lishlishi Loiti Nase, Diver Rebbe. But Rab Shimon Ben Gamliel, I will Lishlishi Tinase, Lirivi Loiti Nase. So I was only Abaye was well in his right following the sheet of Rab Shimon Ben Gamliel 
that you're allowed to marry. He followed the Shita of Rabbi Shimon Gamliel, who held that even though three husbands died, you're still allowed to marry. Uh, even though two husbands died, you're still allowed to marry until the third husband dies, who Abaye was. Abaye was the third husband. Abaye wanted to know that after he marries her, no one else will marry her again. Um, there's actually a Shaila if this applies to Gershon also, which you're supposed to avoid marrying a woman who was divorced three times. There's such a Shaila as well. So my Bishlam Gabimila. So this is already Chaim Sri's or Bishlam Gabimila, Bishlam by Mila. I understand why there should be Chazakas and we should be able to prove from one child to the next child. Because Ika Mishpacha de Rafi Dama, there are Mishpachas that have loose blood. In other words, they're hemophiliacs. They, their blood is not clot. The Ika Mishpacha de Kamitama. And then there are families that the blood does harden and therefore it, it, there's no danger. In my time, what possible scientific explanation could there be as to why a woman whose husband died, that, he, that there should be a concern that there's something wrong with her? Ma'ayin is always referred to the woman's makambiya. Uh, Maybe she has some disease there. Uh, now we could understand it like an STD. Maybe there's some type of disease there that causes whenever someone's boiler, he gets sick. So therefore, that could be the reason for this. Rabashi Yomar, no, mazel goyim. Could be that it has nothing to do with a physical thing. Could be she has a mazel that whoever, whoever she marries dies. My benai, what's the difference? Halacha lemaisa. It, what the reason for why a woman might be sort of uh, uh, poisoned? Ika benayu the erisomis. One nafkamina would be: What if he only made eris and died? So there was never a bia. If 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 she married two husbands with eris and only, and died, the demachloik is if we ask her the third marriage. There you would only ask her it if you held mazel garim. If you held mayin garim for sure, there wouldn't be any welcome to ask her because there was no mayin at all. Or inami the nafal midiklumis, but the husband died because he fell off a tree. Right? He, he was trying to re recover his drone that got caught in the tree, and he fell off a tree. So once again, that could you could say mazel gorim, but you couldn't say ma'ain. Fell off the tree, but he, but he was okay. He was okay. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, he was okay. Amalei, <laughs> well, that's if he climbed the tree. I'm talking about how he didn't climb the tree. Zaktum Amalei Rabbi Yosef read the Rava. The Rava, Rabbi Yosef, the son of Rava, told Rava, "Boy, me, Rabbi Yosef, I asked Rabbi Yosef uh, the following question: Halachic Rabbi is halacha like Rabbi that the Chazaka is only after two times." Bamaliyan, he said yes. Then I asked him, "Halacha Kreb Shimon Gamaliel that the Chazaka is three times." Bamaliyan. So I said, "Achuchi he's making fun of me because of whatever I asked him, he says yes, and he told me a contradictory talk. What? Bamaliyan, <laughs> he said no. This is something that's unexplained. It's, it's difficult. Rashi, I'm talking about the first wide line of Rashi. These are the hidden parts of the Mishnah. So we're talking about the Stamish Nai. Some Stamish Nai we pass on like Rabbi Shimon Gamliel. Some like Rabbi. There are certain things that the Chazaka happens by two, like Rebbe. The Kamil said the beginning classes only. So he wasn't making fun of you. It's actually true. Sometimes we pass on like Rabbi Shimon ben Lil, and sometimes we pass on like Rebbe. There's a famous story with the time of where a fellow came to a time and said to the Anadrim that he crossed the river and he drowned. So Khan says, Don't worry, the Gemara says the dreams are nonsense, and you can go. Next day, he had the same dream. Right? And the time said, don't worry about the second dream. As the Gemara says, dreams are now shkaitin. You can go. Third time he had a dream. Time said, it's fine. Don't worry, I'm telling you, you can go. He went across the river and he drowned. And the family came to a time and they had they to want to sue for malpractice. They had big, big, big titles. They wanted to sue him. So Chaim says, the fact that he drowned on the third time after all these dreams is a coincidence. Because the Gemara says, the dreams are now shkaitin. So Abayah said the same thing. Right, right. Abayah said after three times it's fine. Abayah from the grave said, this is a coincidence. That was Bashar, yeah, that's, it's not a joke. It's not, not a joke. So Zakimar Upashlach is follows. Nisu in the Malkis, when it comes to getting married, or for Malkis, which we're going to have to see what that means. Karebi. Then we pass on the Karebi, that after two times it's a Chazaka. 
um, which is not like a bar. Abai followed him to make him leal. But we pass like Rabbi that after two times it's a chazaka. This does, which tomorrow will explain as well, the Sharamud, how many times it takes for a Sharamud, the Gomorrah is going to discuss that, is Karab and Shem and Ben Gamud. Yeah, what, what, what do you mean? Ah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> they must have done all their learning first. He married her after he already <laughs> went through Shas. Very good. Can you imagine if he married her first? Everybody, the whole Jewish community would be up in arms against her. Why'd you kill him for her? Very good. Very good. That's right. Nisuin Hodamor. Nisuin, we already had a woman who, uh, who whose husband died. The the Chazok is to Malkia Tetnan. This is a very fascinating Mishnah. Misha Loka Vishana. It's talking about Chayvi priests. Someone who did an Aver that was Machayvim and Karis and he got Malkus for it. And he did it again. And he got Malkus a second time. Then, even before he does it a third time, Bezdin coins in Isai Lakipa. They put him into a cell. <coughs> I'm sorry. I have to. Dis- I have to. I have to um, retract what I said because Rashi says befeish im chazer vechata b'shlishis only if he did it the third time. So so then it says. So then it says. What do you do? The bezin kaitz nashlat kipa umachilo nice sahayin. They feed him with barley. I'm not sure how what what impact it is. Actually, kreisai nifkas. It causes his stomach to rupture. I guess. The, I mean, just like in the cholim pot, the barley kernel blows up. So if it happens in the stomach, it'll it'll cause his stomach to burst. So let's see what Rashi says. It's a little bit of a difficult Rashi. Meaning if he did the a third time, the Mechazakinlebershia So if he got so the two already made it into a chazaka, so therefore on the third time they put him in. What I didn't understand about Rashi is if it were Mahsakim already with two, so then after the second they should lock him up. Why did they wait till he so he violates it a third time. I'm not, I'm not sure uh, about the answer, although I did see, I think maybe the Arsh probably brings down that they did this after the second time, uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah, for this, look at this two Zachazan. Vestois. The two makes the Chazaka, if two makes the Chazaka, why do you wait for, for him to violate a third time? He's ready to the second time, the uh, only if he does it after he's stamped with the label rush. Okay, could be. It's not, what about this? It's not. Ain't no isha kaves vest at ben shalosh pam. Let's say a woman has a vest kabua. Nowadays, it's rare to have a vest kabua, but let's say a woman has a vest kabua that on the 15th of every month she sees nida. So there's something called a kvis vest. The my nafkamina, if a woman has a vest kabua, there's two nafkaminas. Nafkamina number one is that. The Allah is that in the times of the Beis HaMikdash world, we were marked but on Tumah V'Tahira, whenever a woman saw Nida, any Tahirist that she touched up to 24 hours before we say our Tame, because just because she discovered it now, maybe she was actually Tame earlier. But if she has a Veskavua, then we say, Oyech B'zman and we will say that, we will say that uh, the, 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 she only became Tame on that day. So here the vest is Lakula. But there's another, there's another um, shita. What if someone does not do a badika on the day of the vest? So you have to ask your wife what to do. But there are many of them who will say she's also until you do a badika. There are shitas who hold that if she has a vest kavua and she wasn't boidik on the day of the vest, even if you boidik the next day and you find out that there's no dam, she's still tummy because she has a chazoka that she saw. And by the time you were boidik, maybe you got washed away. So that, that's where there would be a chumma. So that's, those are the Allah's of Veskabur. So she's not Kavas Lavest Achitik Benish Holish Pamim. She had to see three times on the 15th of the month. And in order to break a vest, they meet a harassment of vest. We don't break the vest. Achite Akram Mimena Shalosh Pamim. Three days, three months have to pass by where on the 15th she did not see. And only that will break, will break the vest. So that's an example of a vest um, which requires three. Everybody agrees to three and shara mood. It's not ain't a shara not a mood that she eat a bush. In order for a shara to become a mood to pay nezak shalim is only if it's gored three times. Tanu rabbanu nizus l'risha in v'le hayu l'abanu. She married the first husband and she had no children. L'sheni v'le hayu l'abanu. The law is l'shlishi loisi nase. She should not marry the third husband. Ella l'mishi yesh l'abanu. She should only marry someone who has already children because he's allowed to marry her. 
another man is not allowed to marry her because he also has a chiyav of puravu. What happens if she wrongfully misses lemisha ain't lebanon? Then takes him a tshuva. Then he divorces her without a tshuva. So up until now, the first two husbands that she had a right to marry, we say he has to give tshuva, like we discussed on Lomad Aleph, because we say it must be his problem, not her problem, because she doesn't have a chiyav of puravu. But the third husband, who she had no right to marry, there she goes out and she does not get her ksuba at all. Right. But she doesn't get a ksuba because it was a marriage that was awesome. So this is a huge shayla. What does it mean, takes like ksuba? So, so Toysus discusses, does this mean if she waited 10 years and didn't have children, then she goes out without a ksuba? Or does it mean right away? So Toysus wants to learn at the end that it means even right away, because she was never allowed to marry her in the first place. It's like a knas. It would be like only right, right. away. After 10 years, by the time your wife for 10 years and I still don't get anything, then you no, would no, then, then you could say, it's, then you could say it, 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 it's clearly her problem, right? It's clearly her, her issue. But even if it's not her issue, since it's a knas, we also wouldn't let her. Zuckerman, and this is the whole child. Did he know about it? Didn't he know? It. If the third husband didn't even know that she had this problem, then it could be a child of Right? So the toys gets into that conversation. What happens if she married a third one wrongfully and she didn't have children? So that proved, in fact, that it was really her all along. The first two husbands who divorced her had to pay Ksuba because we had, we determined that it must have been their fault because it couldn't have been her fault because she's not in Puravu. But now that she married a third husband and still didn't have children, it shows, in fact, that the problem laid with her. So can they go back and say, I want my tshuva money back? Because I never had to marry, I never had to pay the tshuva in the first place. Me, Matsu, Amrullah, to the first two husbands tell her, Igloi Milsa, obviously, from the fact that you were married to a third husband and didn't have children, it proves the Atu the garments. It was you who couldn't have children, so we don't have to pay you tshuva. Aydilma, Aydilma, Matsu, Amrullah, it's a lot of money. Or maybe she can tell him, hash to the takshi. Maybe when I was married to you, it was Taka your problem. Now it's Taka my problem. But that changed. She can say, I don't have to give you back the money because maybe I was fine under you and now I became unwell. And that's why I'm not having children. What happens if she went and married the third guy we just said doesn't have to give her tuba, right? Because she was never allowed to marry him in the first place. So what happens if he divorces her, he doesn't give her ksuba, and then she illegally marries a fourth man, and then she had children. So now it blows the third guy out of the one. Let her go back to the third guy and say, I want you to pay me ksuba now, because you, you see that I'm able to have children. Zog to Gemara, Zog to Gemara, Amrinla, we tell her, If you're smart, Mrs., you're going to keep your mouth shut. Because if you say that you're childbearing, he'll say, Oh, Yvay, if I would have known that you're childbearing, I would have never divorced you. And his get his bottle, and now your children are Mamzer. So therefore, we tell her, Be quiet. The Motsi Amrla, the third husband, could tell her, I would have never given you a get had I known you could have children. So my whole get was Batos, meaning you're still married to me, and the children that you have with the fourth husband is a Mamzer. So, best off, don't say anything at all. I'm sorry. So, so that's a very good order that you're asking. It's a very good order that you're asking. But it's a very good order that you're asking. When do you need a tie and when not? Right. So here. Here it's speaking obviously that he, he divorced her because he was forced to divorce her because she didn't have children. So when it's muchach that the divorce was because she didn't have children, there he can come and say that that had I known that you would have had children, I would never have divorced you. But yeah, he can't pick anything out of his hat unless he actually makes it nine. It's a very good R and, and the place does speak about it. Yeah. How come Tyson was so quiet when everybody was dying in cheer? <laughs> <laughs> so to go on, right? They didn't die, they just became childless. 
So so the law, I'm not dying to the Holy Shaykh. So therefore, someone the Frank Gemara, if that's true, if in fact there's such a problem, Maskal Rababa. E e Shaska Anan Misha Skina Nimsa get bottle over there by Mzair. If that's Taka Taina, that he never gave the he was forced to give a get, but he never would have given the get. Had he known that you could have children, well, even if he doesn't say it, we have a big problem on our hands. Ella, the shot must be is because I'm reading on hash to the Briyas. We'll say no, she was Taka unwell when she was married to the third person. And therefore, he doesn't give her ksuba. Now she had a nest and she got healed. Okay, let's see the Gemara Vajra. Who Amar Mino? He says that the reason why we can't have children is because of her. So this could even be by the first one. Yoidayani, I know, Shemachmasahu, Shein Libanim, for lighting ksuba. The first husband is divorcing her after 10 years. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to pick ksuba. I know it's your fault. The Yom Ramina, and she's not through it. It's his problem. Amr Abami, this is already sensitive material. Amr Abami, the Varim Shebenoi Levena, when it comes to things that go on in the bedroom, Nemenes, you always trust her. Why? The time of I, he came along by She can tell if the Zara shoots out of him like an arrow, which only then will it impregnate her. He will not, he cannot give a proper assessment. He doesn't know what's going on down there, but she could tell what's happening. Zok Gemara, I'm not able to explain exactly what C is over here. Omar, Iu, Ezel, Insev, Itza, the Ivdik Nashoi, that's right. What if he said, what if he said, you think that it's my fault? I'll marry another wife and I'll see if I have children with another wife. Ezel, Insev, Itza, Ivdik Nashoi. Omar Abami, Afbazu, Yoytsev, Eating Suba. Even in such a case, even in such a case, um, he, he has to give her a Suba. You know why? Whenever you marry a second wife, if your first wife is not willing to take on a partner, if your first wife doesn't want you to marry a second wife, Rava Amar Rava argues and says, you, you can marry as many women as you want. That's only if he has enough money to support all those wives. So there's a very interesting tosis over here. It, 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 Make sure there's no little children around. But the Shiloh over here is when sh she's Nemon, well, Toysha has a lot of kashas about it. For instance, Toysha starts off by asking Tema, the Bamai Ari, the Ibishas Asher Shonim Inoi, if they were together for 10 years, Lomali Taima, the Inyar Kachet. Why does she have to say that the problem is with you that your Zer is not Yar Kachet? I feel Yar Kachet Nami Yachiv eating Suba. We learned that even if there's nothing physically wrong with him, after 10 years, he has to divorce her and give her the ksuba. Like our Gemara said. And if it's before 10 years where she wants out because she claims that his zera is not Yerik Chetz, well, why don't you say Maybe she wants to marry somebody else and she wants to get out of her marriage. So she's making up this story to force him to give her a get. Because if, if she can sort of prove that he's not performing, then she could demand the get. So that's Toysus's kasha. Um, so so Toysus discusses if it's speaking after 10 years, if it's not, but there's a very, very interesting, there's a very, very interesting um, So let's run through Toysus quickly. We have a, uh, it's already 650. So whoever has to go could go, but we'll run through this Toysus quickly. It's a very interesting Toysus. So Zog, Zog Toysus, um, this, maybe, she's, maybe she's only making this allegation because she wants out. It's not very There's three women who can get to, who force their husbands to divorce them. And one of them is Hashemayim Benila Vainach Pirish Golul Shemayim Shenyor Kachet. If she claims that he cannot perform, that's a place where she could demand to get and she'll get the Ksuba. Then they said that no, she cannot make such a demand. Therefore, we, we, we don't allow her to make a demand to get out of it because maybe it's a false allegation and she's only saying it because she wants out. She can ask for a get, but it's not forced. You, no, what should you do? They should, they should have him for Achmanus that he should be able to physically improve. Or maybe what you do is what do you do if a woman makes such an allegation to the Judavin 
and you try to bring Shalom Bayis between them, make them another wedding, have them renew their vows. If you're going to say over there, she's not coming, it's just a Shaila, it's just a Shaila of, of she would give forget. Here, the husband is telling the wife, I want to get rid of you, and she's mourning her. We still have to be worried that that uh, maybe she wants out. So that, that's the child over here when you believe. So he says over here a very th interesting thing at the end, which is um, which is uh, uh, a, a little bit. Uh, uh, so now now we could go. So let's see what it says over here. It's uh, I, I hear I hear. So he says over here a very interesting story over here. Um, what does it say over here? Um, I, cannot, I can't find it over here. One second. So I, I forgot the whole secretary, so we'll have to go, go, go by there. The, um, let's see what we have over here. Okay. She's not coming with the, with the argument. What's the difference? So, the mission is showing Loma Omer Yoichi of Shmaitin, the Kaifin at the end of the Argomara where it says you force Baba Machmas Taino, but like Hashina and Shemaina Nastabacher, it seems like if she comes and says, I want a divorce, we don't listen to her. But I, at the end of the Gemara, it says that we do trust her. He can look and be a day issue, that's only if it's known. If we know for some other reason that he can't have children, then we will force him to give a get. Or if she was with him 10 years, Vyeshla he loved the Bamach Mastaina, Loya Kaifim Shimbitl Perio Verev. So, what happens if he had other children, but he was with her 10 years, and with her he didn't have children? There, if she asks for a divorce, you could force him to give a divorce. Um, and without her asking, you wouldn't automatically force him to give a divorce, even the Yesh Leibon. Here, you can't say, in our case, that speaking where they already waited 10 years, the Yesh Leibon, and he has children, Ubamach Mastaina, and she's demanding a get. In Cain, I feel Yerk hates Nami Koifin, because in such a case, even if it was Yerk hates Koifin. So Toshua's learning over here is she's coming earlier and demanding a get and saying that it doesn't work. Even the Zachary Balisman, Omi Shloy Maxas, the Kivin the Eshle Bonum, and Litness Boy in Shaloy, and the Isla Memer, the other of it, he hit the Lazach, Kidami Rail. Well, the Kach Trikatam the Yerk had. So maybe you could say it's speaking where she's mourning, but I, I think Toshua wants to say over here, speaking where they're married. Um, so what Hatoshi answers his original question. His original question was, if it was Shah Hashanah, you don't need a Svara. So the question is, why do we need a Svara? And if it wasn't Shah Hashanah, she, she has no right to force him. So what did he answer? I'm trying to see what Toshi's terrorist was. Oh, so it could be speaking. Oh, so it could be speaking where he had children and she's mourning, and 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 normally he wouldn't force him to give it yet. But since she's mourning, we'll let him give a get, and therefore the Shaila is. If he has to give her a ksuba or not. But there was a shaila over here where he had. Okay, let me see. What, maybe it's bottom over here. I'm, I'm not sure where the. There was a very interesting shaila over here where I wanted, I wanted to discuss with a woman, with a woman who, who complained that her husband uh, wasn't able to produce and how you deal with it. Let me see where it is. I, don't, I can't find it. Maybe it's, maybe it's in a later death. Okay, so we'll stop here. Um, uh, we'll let me just see where we got up to at the end. Yeah, we got up to the bottom of Samach Emeral. Of Samach Emeral, that is. That's Samach No, Samach Emeral. Bottom of Samach Emeral. Okay, Gavaltik, have a wonderful day.